student manager now has the ability to split rooms and manage those subrooms. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Normally, when you have a meeting room in a building, you manage the whole room as one piece. But what if that room has multiple pieces in it made by sliding walls? Now you can manage those subrooms within Student Manager as individual rooms. That way you can manage the whole room or the individual pieces. So you can put a class in B and, B and C and at the same time reserve A at a later date. The conflict manager, knowing that you have B and C already used, would not allow you to reserve the whole meeting room. Let's take a look at how we set this up. The first step in splitting rooms is to put all the pieces into Student Manager. This means you need to have all your buildings in, all your rooms, and most importantly, all the subrooms. In our example, we're going to set up a room called Meeting and set up the three subrooms as well. To do this, we're going to go up to the module drop down menu and choose Location. And we're going to add a location. Our building is going to be named Aceware. And our first room is going to be called Meeting. So there's our room, and now we're going to add Aceware again, which is our building, and room A, which is our first sub or sub room of the room meeting. I'm going to go ahead and add that. Now, at this moment, Aceware, or excuse me, Student Manager does not know that A is a sub room of the meeting room. We will go and add those associations as soon as we have all three subrooms into our location module. So there's B, and there is C. Once we are done adding all our room and subroom information, we can click OK. The next step is to define the location splits and associate them together. We're going to go up to Module and down to Location and define location splits. This will bring up a dialog box. And the first thing we do is we put in the parent location. So we're going to bring up our meeting, our meeting room, and that's the parent room. And then we're going to bring up our first subroom, our first split of that room which will be A. When we click Create Definition, we now have associated A as a part of Meeting Room Meeting. We can now go and do that with B, and we can do that with C. Those three rooms, A, B, and C, are now subrooms of Meeting. That means that they are the actual same room and from the system's point of view can be reserved and used as part of meeting or as individual rooms. At any time we can bring up this room and see the definitions and see that those three subrooms are part of meeting. Let's review. To create subrooms and manage those, the first step is to enter all your rooms and subrooms and locations into the location module, module locations. Once you do that, you can go into define location splits, bring up the parent location, your parent room, add the child locations one by one and click the Create Definition button. That's all there is to it.